to do it in the house. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, I agree with my pastor when he said this morning, you know, it just feel good to be in, in the house. It just feel good to be in his presence. I just got somewhere I can come and I can I can rest. I can I can breathe a little bit. I can kind of get away. Hallelujah. From all this craziness. Hallelujah. You know, since Christina says it best, you know, I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm so thankful that I have a place that I can go. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Happy praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just give it down all the glory. I, I, I feel good. I feel good in my God. Hallelujah. I, I feel good in my Jesus. Thank God, you know, thank God for uh, uh, the choir. You know, once again, I ain't just saying that because I'm in it. <laughs> Man, it was just a blessing, you know. It, it didn't sound like that in practice. <laughs> but, but thank God for prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. When I am excited about the word of God tonight, I'm trying to tell you, God is so awesome. Hallelujah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you know. If you don't know, God is in this house. God is in this place. Hallelujah. And I, I just gotta give God the glory for this word that you are going to hear tonight. Hallelujah. Because He is the one that uh put it into motion. Hallelujah. When you hear me preaching what I'm going to preach, you know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I sit back here. I just got to give God the glory. I'm going to tell you. Sit back here Wednesday night, you know, as pastor was talking, you know, giving instruction to the church uh, concerning some things of, of that nature. And then he got into the word of God and he was speaking in Deuteronomy, um, uh, talking about how, you know, Israel went back. You know, worshiping the golden calf, things of that nature. Man, the guy had no idea what the Lord had been talking to me about for about a week or two now. Right. Had no idea. All right. Hallelujah. So, what, so what I'm telling you, church, we, we don't get together and be like, okay, you preach this right. and we're going to make it, Thank you know, the, you. theatrical. And we, don't, it, I, it, we don't do that. I don't, I don't come to pastor and say, hey, I got a word. And, you know, I don't, I don't do all that. Amen. I just let God talk to me. Right. And then I'm sitting back there my mouth wide open. I'm just like, how in the world ain't no way no. Ain't no way. No. And, and, I, and I told the man of God, fear and trembling. When I left this house Wednesday night, fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. Because there is no way. I mean, I'm just right on it. You're going to see what I'm talking about. I'm like, man, I ain't going to have nothing to preach. Pastor already preached on Wednesday night. Praise God. But I'm excited. Come on. Woo, I'm hey, man, I'm, I'm excited. You know? You know, when Ananias and Sapphira, when they went to church that day, they was they had a spirit of agreement. Yeah. Hallelujah. But it was the they they weren't right though. All right. Hallelujah. They they weren't right. They come up in here trying to lie, you know, lie about the things of God, lie to the Holy Ghost and all that. But we we, we ain't working that way. But I'm just saying when you when you see when I have seen God move how he has been moving. Right. I mean, fear and trembling, man. Amen. I, I just can't come up in here and, and play the part. Yeah. I, I, I just can't come yeah. up in here hypocritin'. You know what I'm saying? Because God's going in trouble. Right. So I'm just, like I told you, fear and trembling. Fear right. and trembling. But hallelujah, I ain't going to keep you long tonight. Right. Pastor told me I got 15 minutes. Right. Hallelujah. So I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to let you know. Hallelujah. But you're going to have to get it. All right. Hallelujah. And I believe the word of God will be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Okay, okay. Okay in the word. Hallelujah. Let's go to Exodus. We're in Exodus. We're in Exodus tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's so good. He's excellent. 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 Excellent God. Exodus chapter 32, verse 1. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Hallelujah. It says, And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, Amen. the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. For, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we want not 
what is become of him. Right. Got impatient. Yeah. You know, start thinking like, well, he know he didn't know this. Right. You know, right. but see, when they came out of Egypt, they, they brought some mess with them. All right. Come on. They, they brought some ideologies with them. They, they brought Ooh. some bad habits with them. Yeah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's go to uh, uh, verse 26. Okay. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? All right. Let him come unto me. Amen. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who is on the Lord's side? All right. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord God, we just thank you tonight. Lord God, come in sight. About your word tonight, Lord God, anticipate. Lord God, for you to talk to us in this house, Lord. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise in the awesome name of Jesus. Amen. Before you are seated, give the Lord a crazy praise. Hallelujah. So as you can see here in Exodus 32, verse 1, Amen. you know, Moses was up in the mount, you know, spending some time with God, etc. And the children of Israel, they got impatient. <laughs> and what happened? They slid back into idolatry. Yes, the people of God slid back into idolatry, started worshiping a golden calf, which was fashioned by the earrings they had in their ears. And Aaron was right along with them. He should have been there. He should have said, no, nah, what, what, what are we doing? We ain't finna do this. Right. Hallelujah. He should have been the one that said, no, nah, what y'all talking about? Right. Hallelujah. He should have been the one that, that you know, kind of deterred him from this thinking, thinking. Right. Hallelujah. But the children of Israel, like I said, you know, when we come out in that world, sometimes we bring some bad habits with us. Right. Hallelujah. And sometimes when we come out, we bring some bad habits with us. Right. And that's why you got a man of God in your life to instruct you. That's why you got a man in your life, a man of God in your life to direct you. Hallelujah. If you got some questions or something, don't just go on your own feeling. Right. Talk to the man of God. Right. Hallelujah. That's what he's there for. Somebody give the Lord a hand type of prayer. But the people of God, they slid back into idolatry, worshiping a golden calf. And Moses came down and he, and he heard something. And it's that war now. That's a different kind of sound. They down there after a party and reveling, bucket naked, after just acting a fool. Hallelujah. We're going to talk. We're going to talk tonight. Hallelujah. Just after a bath. In 40 days, you didn't forget what happened. In 40 days, you didn't forget all the miracles. You didn't forget how he brought you out, how, how you crossed the Red Sea, how, how he delivered you mightily. In 40 days, you didn't forget and just went back. Had no problem. Had no problem going back to the sin. Had no problem. Easy. See, I'm looking at this, I'm like, man. But see, we got to put ourselves in. God has done great things. Hallelujah. God has done great things in this church. God has done great things in my life. Hallelujah. And sometimes we forget. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I, I ain't going back. Hallelujah. To what God brought me from. I'm, I'm not going back to the sin. I'm, I'm not going back to the idol worship. I'm, I'm, I'm not going back to it. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. And I didn't tell you the title, but the title of the message tonight is Whose Side Are You On? Yes. 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 Whose side are you on? Yes, sir. There's a question that you gotta ask yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. It's either right or it's wrong. Right. Right. It's either light or it's darkness. Right. It's either light right. or it's death. Right. Somebody get the Lord a hand clap of praise. Right. Hallelujah. It's either blessing. Or curses. Either victory or defeat. I'm going to listen, I'm going to obey the commands of God versus self-pleasing. Woo! I want to do my thing. I, I want to do what I feel is right. It's either holiness and right living or sin and oppression. It's a choice you got to make. See, so I want you to notice one thing. Go back to verse 26 with me. Hallelujah. I ain't going to keep you long. Jesus. Praise God. But I'm just sitting back there Wednesday night. I'm saying, no way. That's awesome. Hallelujah. Talked about it in Deuteronomy 9. 
I said, Lord, this is what you told me to preach. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, mouth wide open. Well, I'm telling you, I left the house of God fear and trembling. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Got right. home from work Thursday. After a long day of work, got into my living room, put on some praise and worship, and I hit the flow church. Jesus. Because there's a, 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 a fear got a hold of me, a reverence got a hold of me. And I pray with my face on the ground. Because this God we serve is a holy God. This God we serve is real. This God we serve. See, he knows who sides you on. He, he knows if you with him or not. Hallelujah. So, so if you're not on the side of God, you're on the wrong side. That's, that's it. It ain't no in between. If you're not on his side, you're on the wrong side. Somebody get a Lord of hand. Clap a We're in trembling, man. And then it says, Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Stop. I got to stop right there. He said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. Now, when Moses asked this question, it wasn't a question that was asked in private. That's right. Okay? That's right. Look, look at it now. When he asked, who's on the Lord's side? It's, this wasn't a question, a question that was asked in private. Hallelujah. So, so when he asked, everybody know who going to be on the Lord's side or not. It's not a question asked in private. Hallelujah. So what this is telling me is that your allegiance to God got to be open. That your allegiance to God. Hallelujah. Everybody got to know. Hallelujah. Who you in line with. Your allegiance to God got to be open. Hallelujah. So if God come into this house tonight and say, who is on the Lord's side? And you say me, everybody going to know. Hey, with God. She with God. Brother with God. Everybody know it ain't no, it ain't no secret discipleship. It, it ain't no secret praise. It, it ain't no secret worship. Everybody gotta know who's on the Lord's side. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. So so we can't be we can't be secret. This is no neutral ground. No, no in-between. Hallelujah. You either serving the Lord or you're not. And that came to me. Who's on the Lord's side? And he asked that question. I was looking at that. That was an open question. Yeah. Everybody going to see. Yeah. Everybody going to know who side you're on. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we got to know that in the church. Amen. You got to own your allegiance to God. Open it. Yes. You got to own your allegiance to God. Yes. Open it. Yes. 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 Because it's your walk. Yes. 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 That's what people don't understand. I don't understand how how folks let other people take them out to church. Right. Woo. You made a covenant yeah. with the Lord God Almighty. Right. He, he shed his blood for you. Yeah. It, it don't matter what mama, daddy, sister doing, but, right. but, but you, he, he, you made the covenant. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. Who's on the Lord's side? Give the Lord a hand right. clap of praise. That there is no neutral ground or no, uh, in between with this thing. You, you can't be neutral when it comes to the things of God. Right. Hallelujah. You, you either living for the Lord or you're not. It's no yeah. neutral ground. Well, I'm just going to stay here. I ain't going to say too much. You know what I'm saying? No, no. You're going to have to engage. That's right. That's right. You got to engage in this thing. You, you just can't come in and be a spectator. This is not a spectator sport. Hallelujah. You're going to have to get in the game. Hallelujah. You, you're going to have to get in the game. Hallelujah. And you got to engage. That's, that's the only way you're going to have victory. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Let's, let's go to 1 Kings 18 verse 21. Praise God. Whose side are you on? Hallelujah. Whose side are you on? Praise God. And it says, 1 Kings 18 verse 21 says, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long shall how long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal then follow him, and the people answer him not a word. He asked him the question, who you going to serve? Right. Bring it, brother. Amen. Right. If God be God, serve God. If Baal be God, serve Baal, but don't play with it. Right. Amen. If you're going to live for the Lord and you're going to give him 110, let's get in it. But if you're going to play games with it. Right. See, we live in a world now where people want their cake and eat it too. Right. 
Amen. Won't they take and eat it too? Well, I can come to church on Sunday. Right, bro. Right. And go out and do what you do Monday through Saturday. And, you know, know you're doing wrong and then want to come to the church house Sunday morning, come to the altar crying and all that, and, and then doing the same thing right, again Monday right, night. Right. Okay, y'all don't want to right, preach. Right. Oh, come on, come on, come that's on. Right. That's the truth. Come, come on now. Yeah. Do, do you want to live? Do, do, do we want deliverance? Do, do we want the victory? Hallelujah. And you know Satan. Trying to get a hold of you. Trying to steer you away from the things of God. And then to see, see that this passivity. Hallelujah. You can't be passive concerning the things of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't, don't you know the enemy want to take you out? Don't you know the enemy want to take your kids out? He want to take your family out? What do he want to take you out? A pastor was preaching it this morning. God gave him the word. Hallelujah. Talking about put on the whole oh my God. Hallelujah. Heaven of salvation. Breastplate of righteousness. Curve with the Lord's of truth. Feet shot with the oh come on now. The whole armor. Hallelujah. So of course we talking about spiritual armor. Hallelujah. But that lets me know if we got some armor involved, we in the battle. Right, brother. That's right. That's right. So that lets me know if we got arm involved, we gonna, it's going to be some fighting that going to have to take place in the life. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Somebody give the Lord a hand type of praise. Yes. you got to have the whole arm of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Whose side are you on? Amen, amen. amen. When I'm in that battle, I, I got to know you with me. Amen. Right. And it is a battle. Amen. Oh, you better know it. You know, pastors talking about it this morning. I know I'm piggybacking off of them, but that's all right. You know, when the birds got in the church, man, we just, you know, we just want to be delivered and get, you know what I'm saying? We got it in it. Yeah, yeah. You know, pastors be talking about battle and all that. I'm like, battle, man, it's been gravy. I mean, man, it's been nice. Me and the wife getting alone and peace and just loving it. I ain't fighting, you know what I mean? Money just, woo, I'm like, man, I ain't no we can, you know, just... Just lovely. lovely. You know, we in it two, three years, and you know, they're like, ooh, start some some stuff started coming. I'm like, ooh, I mean, what what this mean? I mean, what, what, what I can how do I how do I handle it? You know what I'm saying? And God growing me up, teaching me how to fight, teaching me, you know what I'm saying? How they land, you be like, man, 20 years later. He talking about battle. Oh, I know what he's talking about now. I, I, I know what he's talking about. Hallelujah. You like where all this coming from? There was an enemy. That's out for you, but the Bible says, quit ye like me, God. Quit ye like me, you don't have to stand here. Quit ye I'm courageous. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to have to have a fight in you. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. You're going to have to have a fight in you. Amen. Somebody get a Lord. Are oh, we still fighting? We still in the, in the battle fight? Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Hey. So this is letting you know you got to have an open testimony. If God be God, serve God. If Bell be God, serve Bell. Don't play with it. It said in Revelation, if you look, you neither hot or cold. You, you neither hot nor cold. Neither hot, you ain't on fire for God. You cold. Hallelujah. You, you, you just don't know. You just in between warm. Just do tepid. Tepid water make you nauseated. Yeah. It ain't hot. It ain't cold. You drink that. You make you want to throw up. That's what God's saying. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're going to have to make a decision. Yeah. Amen. You got to make a decision tonight. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can't be living for the Lord for five years and still don't know whose side you on. Where did that come from? That don't make no kind of sense. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, you got the team colors on. You playing the game with you. You playing the game with me. But you ain't for me. Oh, all right. Somebody get a load of hand clap of praise. Wondering. Do I want to live this whole in the same? Wondering. Do I still want to represent the kingdom of God? Wondering. All this mess because we're listening to different voices. Right, right. That's where it is. Hallelujah. You're not staying in relationship. 
Right, how do you know, man, the God said this morning, how do you apply the armor of God? You got to walk in relationship with him. Yes. That's how you apply You ain't got to get up in the morning and literally put on, you know, the armor of God and all that. Hallelujah. You got to have that relationship. You got to talk to him. Somebody get a Lord of hand clap of prayer. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm for you tonight. Come on. Yeah. I'm, I'm for you tonight. Yeah. I, I'm for Bible Center Fellowship. Yeah. I'm, I'm for the things of God. Hallelujah. I'm for victory. Hallelujah. I'm for comfort. Hallelujah. I'm for it. Yeah. I ain't trying to go back. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you got to have a made up mind. Right. You, you got to have a made up mind. Yeah. Somebody get a Lord a hand clap of praise. Yeah. Who's side? Or your own. And I'm just thinking to myself, that's a true question. That's a real question, especially in this hour, boy. We got a bunch of tricksters. Hallelujah, they talk good, boy. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be no hypocrite. Do you hear me? I don't want to be no hypocrite. Life full of sin. Life full of sin. And you want to come up in the church. Right, brother. Right, right, Living like the devil and think nobody don't know about. God know. God know. God know. I'm trying to. God know. And you keep playing games with it if you want to. And God will uncover. He will uncover. See, I don't. Man, I'm trying to tell you. With fur and trembling, man. This word, that word Wednesday night got a hold of me. I'm standing behind. I, I, you know, I preach this word. I stand behind the pulpit. But it don't mean nothing. Right, right. If I don't got to walk with God, if I'm not praying, if I'm not seeking to live a righteous life, that don't mean nothing. You got them all across the world stand behind poor pits. Two, three women on the side, but they stand up and preach the word of God. False anointing ones. False anointing ones. They get their power, but it ain't from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Don't you know, ain't that the devil got preachers too? He got preachers too. That's right, amen. Better knowing you can tell by their fruit, though. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can hear them. You, you can tell by their fruit, though. They all, you know, come to the church and all this mess fill these stadiums. You got to wonder when the whole football stadium can get filled. Exactly. What he preaching? Right. That ain't. Come on, Because when I preach this holy book, yeah. when I talk about living a right life, and okay. how walking in holiness, and right. hallelujah, that, don't, that don't attract the flesh. Right. Hallelujah. So, so you really got to want to be saved to come here. Yeah. Awesome. Hallelujah. Because we don't play games with it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you want that watered down, live in sin, you still want to go to heaven, you can find that type of church on every corner. Right. No commitment, no dedication, psychology, ease believism, this prosperity. Come up to the altar, throw ten dollars on the altar. God gonna restore it, all that foolishness. I don't see that in the Bible. Amen. I don't see nothing about it. And I'm never saying the word. You gonna get a million dollars for living for the Lord. Say it. And I don't see that. No, sir. But it does tell me those that are faithful. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. No, those that won't. It does tell me, hallelujah, you might be by yourself in this world, but my treasures are stored up in heaven. Hallelujah, so that's what I'm doing. So you, so you got to get it in you. You can't live for them. Right, You got a lot of people preparing for them, but they ain't preparing for the hereafter. You got to prepare for the hereafter. Hallelujah. Somebody get a Lord of hands up and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews 10. Woo, hallelujah. This happened in the Awesome, right here. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Yes, Whose side are you on? Yes, yeah, man, I'm just looking at it, man. This world is going crazy. Mm, come on. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. This world is going crazy, man. Yes, sir. Believe anything, people say. Grown 
grown folks. Pastor, grown folks. And I'm sitting there saying, man, you can't see this knucklehead, the devil. You can't see. He's just a, it's a bunch of lip service. Right. And you're going to let him lead you to hell. You're going to let him. Because you ain't going. You don't got the helmet of salvation. That whole arm of God, the helmet of salvation. See, you're going to have to protect your mind. You got to have that head covered. You got to have that mind covered. Hallelujah. When it says salvation, Jesus is salvation. So my mind is stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. My mind is stayed on Jesus. I'm thinking about Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm Jesus thinking. But boy, you got people come up in here. Yeah, I just had a change of heart and I'm just going to live for the Lord, man. Woo, the whole church just go bonkers. Ah, ain't no baptism took place. Mm -hmm. Name of Jesus, I ain't been called over and baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. Everybody just, ah, 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 ah. just acting a fool. Right. Y'all right. know who I'm talking about. Oh, Jesus. Amen, amen. This old Kanye West cat. Him and old Mr. Old Smiley. I'm just looking at this. I say, man, and I ain't pointing the finger. I'm just saying, but if you're wrong, you're wrong. Amen, amen. All right, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. You know, there's no repentance. Okay. The most blasphemous songs and singing. Amen. After. You ain't for God. You an enemy. Come on. Other things to God. I know it's on YouTube. I don't care. You an enemy. Hallelujah. Other things to God. You an enemy. Hallelujah. We can tell by your fruit. You can tell a man by his fruit. Satan. And you know, oh, man, I'm gonna go buy this CD and all this man. I'm gonna have you straight to hell with gasoline drawers on. You just fall. Just, oh, somebody get the Lord a hand clap of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Whose side are you on? Yeah. Hallelujah. And man, it's a deception. Yes. It's sweeping, boy. It is. It's sweeping. It's sweeping through this old America, boy. It's sweeping. That's what I'm saying. You're going to have to have a walk. Yes, sir. You're going to have to have. You're going to have to have a walk. Young people. Right. You're going to have to have a walk. You can't sit on the grandma's shoulder all the time. You're going to have to get up out that pew sometime. Okay. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to have to have a walk now. Yeah. It's time out. You know, all this shots. Okay. Look at me crazy. I'm just saying, though. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Whose side are you on? Hebrews 10, verse 23 through 25. Verse 23 reads, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise we serve a faithful God. Amen. And let us consider, consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Right. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another is so much the more as you see that day approaching. Right. Hallelujah. It, it, it ain't time out to be that old distant disciple. That's right. Amen. That old distant Amen. church member. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That distant saint in the church. It's, it's time out for that. Right. You ain't going to make it that way. Right. Because you got wolves out there and they looking for them old lagging sheep. Yes. Amen. That ain't close to the flock. Yes. When you close to the flock, you together. Right. So there's protection in that. And when you're close to the flock, the flock going to be what? Close to the shepherd. So the shepherd can see, because he know where you at. And if you see a wolf coming, he got, I don't get, get away. He can, he can, he can, hallelujah. But if you're way out there on the outside looking in, we can't reach you. Amen. So you got to stay close to the flock. Amen. Man, you know, I got to do my own thing now. Okay, that's your problem. I love you. I love the church. I love, oh, I just love it. Then when it's a, 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 a meeting called you, you missing in action. But you love the church. Okay. Come on. Amen, amen. 
Jesus. Amen, amen. When an assembly taking a place, taking place, you missing in action. Hey, well, absent without leave. Where you at? Forsaking the assembly. Uh, hallelujah. You got something better to do? What's better than being in the church house? What's better than being in the house giving God glory? What, what's better? Hallelujah. Because you got to realize when we assemble, we assemble together. Amen. So if we assemble together, that means we fight together. Amen. That's, that's what that means. So when you came up in here with me tonight, that means we fight together. Hallelujah. I'm fighting with you, Sister Christina. I'm fighting with you, Annie. Hallelujah. Jim, we in here. We fight. Hey, the flesh ain't going to want to hear this, but I, I, I didn't die. Okay. Some of you ain't going to want to hear it. That's all right, though. It old flesh. Talk good. Talk good. Wanna come up in here and eat it and and miss sin in action. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. Hallelujah. Still in the fight. Come on. You still got some people here fighting. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. And they know. People know. Okay. People know if you're still in the fight or not. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People know if you're still in the fight or not. Because I ain't never seen nobody that's in the fight just. Right. Right. I ain't never seen nobody in the fight still. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? When you was out in the world, you used to box. Come on. Jesus. Now somebody trying to push you and ain't no resistance. Hey, man, what is you? Exactly. Exactly. Same thing with the enemy. Mm -hmm. You can't just have the enemy push on you and, and beat up on you. That's right. Amen. Coming to the church house, can't halfway lift your head up. Hallelujah. The devil is a lot. I saw the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Get your head up out this ground. Man, I want to make it. Man, we was driving home the other day, past I think we coming from H-E-B. Me and the, me and mom, me and the missus. And I told her, I said, man, babe, I want to go to heaven. All right, think about that. Man. We just had a conversation. And I just told her, I said, man, I want to go to heaven, man. Yeah. I, I really want to make it. Yeah. Yes. I, I really do. Yes. And it's, it's, causing, it's, called, it's causing a... I guess a soul searching, an examination in my right. life, man. It should. I, it man, should. I want to make it, man. I didn't, I didn't see too many people come and go. Right. Amen. I didn't see too many people come and go, and you know what I'm saying? That that's supposed to be her. Right. And, and I don't know, just let some, I don't know, overtake them, and I'm just like, man, I don't want to be a statistic. Mm -hmm. Woo. No, sir, yeah. God been too good to me. Hallelujah, I man. You know, Pastor speaks this morning. Ain't no good excuses. Right. Amen. Ain't no good excuses when I quit living for the Lord because. Amen. I quit living for the Lord because so and so now. Right. That, that ain't going to get you through prayer right. again. You know what I'm saying? Right. That ain't going to get you in the kingdom of God. Somebody get a Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, come and praise. Whose side are you on? Hallelujah. Well, I'm trying to tell you. Fear and trip. For a trip. And we got to understand our commitment and duty is just not to God, but to one another. Say it again, brother. Now I want you to listen to this. Our commitment and our duty is just not to God or to the things of God, but it's to each other. Right. Why is that important? Because you affect me. Right. Right. Amen. Because you affect me. Yes. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You be sitting.
sitting next to somebody, they just plot. Right. Right. Amen. 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 You have to know. And you're going to tell. Yes, sir. You can tell. Yes, sir. You can tell. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm funny. Oh, yeah. Amen. I, don't gotta, I ain't mad. I'm just saying. Hallelujah. That there's a zeal concerning these things. Amen. Hallelujah. That you got to have. Amen. Because that's not, you're going to let deception take you right out the church. Amen. Amen. Sitting under the word of God, knowing the word of God. Right, amen. Let it take you right out the church. Yes, amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Amen. 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 See, when you look at me, you ought to know if I'm in it or not. Right. Right. That's right. I'm just going to tell you something. Amen. Amen. If you look at my life, you ought to know, hey, he went to church. Amen, amen. Me and your brother need to know, hey, that brother with us in the fight. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You, you need to know that. Amen. If I look at you, I need to know. Yeah, that brother with us in the church. Amen. Yeah, that brother with us in the fight. Amen. Sister, look at you. They need to know. Yeah, that sister with us. That sister amen. with us. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, hallelujah. We can't be having these mixed signals. All right. Yes, amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Got too many mixed signals, man. Amen. Right, One service you won't find that yeah, service. It, Amen. You miss it. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Woo. That's right. One service you in the prayer room. Yeah. Amen. Praying the walls down. Next three you go. Oh, come on now. Y'all don't hear no more. Come on. Son. Whose side are you on? Yeah. Too many mixed signals, man. That's right, He's just like, what? Too much fluctuate like water. Water unstable. Right. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. He, see, water can fall in whatever environment you put it in. Hallelujah. So when you see me, and I'm not the example by any means. Hallelujah. But when you see me, when you see my life, you, you know, you should know if I'm with you or not. That's right. That's right. Because we fighting together. Yes. Amen. That's important. That's right. We should be. Hallelujah. Because if I'm going to battle, That's right. I need to know somebody got my back. Amen. Amen. Because if I'm in the battle, and this was, you know, coming to me and overtaking me, I need to know, oh, brother, right here, hey, can you help me? Can you, can you help me a little bit? Sister, can you? Can you help me? Give me, give me some strength. Can you help hold me up? Because when I got you, when I got you next to me, we can gain ground together. Hallelujah. We can gain ground together. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Clap a praise. Whose side are you on? Hallelujah. Got to, we got to fight together. Hallelujah. Amen. We can't be devouring each other. That's right. See, you taking That's the right. fight to the wrong person. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. You, you taking the fight to the wrong individual. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. We in the army. That's right. Hallelujah. We, 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 we got to be in right together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when we taking ground, and if we together, we can conquer more territory. Yes. Right. Amen. But if I'm fighting the enemy right here, then I got to worry about fighting my brother or sister. Oh, man, we in trouble. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that brother or sister's not in a place. Right. That enemy can step in yes. and cause the mischief. Yes. That enemy can step in yes. and cause distraction. Where will you stand? Where will you stand tonight? Yes. Whose side are you on? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Military terms. Military bearing. What does that mean? Pastor's talking about when you stand, you got you to gotta have your, your chest out. Shoulders up, head up. Hallelujah. Speaking of courageousness. Hallelujah. When you go out into that world, you got to maintain your military bearing. What does that mean? That means how you carry yourself out in this world. When you go out in that world, can they tell you a soldier for God? Can they even tell you a child of God? You got to maintain your military bearing. You walk a certain way. You see a little soldier cats when they get out a training, boy, they come out, they walk. It's, it's a different walk about them. Real, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it's, it's a certain way they talk, yeah. how they carry yeah. themselves. How you doing, ma'am? Good. How you doing? How you doing, sir? You see, it's a difference. Woo! Come on. When you're in the kingdom of God, it's a certain way you talk. It's a certain way you carry yourself. And people can tell. Yes, sir. Give the Lord a hand and clap a praise. Holiness I love it. is just right. I love it. 
Holiness is just right. right. Ain't nothing wrong with holiness. No, sir. That's, that's your uniform. Right. Yeah. 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 You hear what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's your garment. That's, that's what separates you. That's what makes you different. Hallelujah. Holiness is a beautiful thing. Beautiful. And I'm not just talking about outward, but inward. Exactly. Because you can have the dress right and open that mouth and right. Ooh, right. Right. Amen. remove all doubt. Amen. I'm sorry I said hi. Oh, Jesus. And you know, I, Right. Okay, then we're gonna go on. Right. It's so true, God. Hallelujah. Whose side are y'all? Whose side are you? Amen. But you got to understand it's a lot in this. Hallelujah. I can't just say I'm on the Lord's side and there's no proof. Right. Amen. Amen. I don't want to send mixed signals. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I don't want to send mixed signals. Right. Amen. I got to know. We got to know Amen. in this house. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap for yeah. Hallelujah. Now, now, as I was saying, we got to know you in the fight. The man of God, the man of God, the woman of God, first lady of the church, passed the card and need to know you with him. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. They need to know you with them in the fight. You can't come up in your service after service sending mixed signals. Right. Wonderful. Amen. We already fight. Amen. Now I got to deal with your stinking thinking. I got to deal with your attitude. I got to deal with you whether or not you want to be here or not. Or you don't like the dress code anymore. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Can't be devouring each other, man. Hallelujah. Man of God for you. Right. Woman of God for you. Amen. 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 Tell you something that's in their best interest. It's for your best interest. Amen. Yes. Because one day you got to understand it's about God here. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ain't, ain't no secret platforms and all this. And right. Brother Linda's healing ministry and all that. Man, this funny. <laughs> I ain't trying to start no new work and all that. Man, I, oh man. I ain't my, my, oh my, my, my britches ain't big enough for all that. I ain't ready for all that. You know what I'm saying? Told him, man, I'm with you, Pastor. You ain't got to worry about me on the sideline trying to do. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. And yeah, I'm saying that publicly. I'm with y'all. I'm with the church. I'm with Bible Center Fellowship. I'm with you. Start no secret work and hitting the chimneys and motors, man. Is you crazy? Right, right. That's what some people get the big head, man. Right. You know, preach for two, three years, you ready. Boy, please. I don't know. I you know, I ain't be little with so I'm just saying, I ain't okay, partner. That's hey, if that's what you want to do, whatever, partner. I'm, I'm here at 500 E Elliot. That's where I'm at. I'm here. Somebody give the Lord a hand type of place. Man of God got to know. See, a lot of folks don't want to hear that, y'all. Man of God got to know. He got to know if you're with him or not. Amen. He got to know. Right. And if you come up in here sending mixed signals and she'll be in the church and you're not hearing, and when you hear, you're really not hearing, you just in la la land. What is that? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We just can't send mixed signals, okay? Amen. Amen. Are you my brother or are you my enemy? Right. Right. Are you my sister or are you my enemy? Right. You got to ask yourself. Because those we thought was winners ain't with us. No. That's right. Amen. And we'll become the worst enemy. I'm like, oh. Exactly. I mean, just, 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 just. I don't feel we just want to destroy it. Yes. You messing with the things of God. It, can't, it ain't going to be there with you. I'm just saying. Because any side other than the Lord's side is the wrong side. Woo! Common sense, right? Amen. Any side other than the Lord's side is the wrong side. It's, it's, it's futile to think you're going to. It's 
just no profit. It ain't. It, it's not going to accomplish what you think it's going to accomplish. It's, it's, it's not going to do. Right. You know, you might have a bunch of knuckleheads with you. Y'all all chant the same thing. But in the end, we're going to see where you're at. In the end, we're going to see where you're at. All of them that was with you where they at now. Then you find yourself by yourself. Somebody get a Lord a hand clap of praise. I'm, I'm coming to a close. I'm, I'm coming to a close. I done went over my 15 minutes. <laughs> But I'm telling you, man, God had been talking to me about this. Oh, then a man of God thank stood up in the pulpit Wednesday night, preached on Deut Deuteronomy 9, talking about how they went back into our dark. Ain't no way that they... Oh, I, man, I'm just blown away every time. And I'm sitting back there with my mouth wide open. I'm just like, are you kidding me? I mean, some got a hold of me, church. And then me knowing, I, I know them. And for me to play, See, I don't, all that second chance, third chance, I don't, I don't, oh, I can't, mm, I don't know, that, that's scary. Hallelujah, and I ain't still feel like I don't ever make mistakes and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying. Hallelujah, but man, you, God is in this house. God is in this house. How many times folks to come up in here and thought they was getting away? How many folks, people to come up in here and thought they was getting by and, and sneaking and all that and God uncovering? And you see God move like that? Yeah. And you see him on a... Man, mm, uh -uh, boy, God is real. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, fear ain't trembling. Get somebody get a Lord a hand clap of praise. Whose side are you on? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't be on the Lord's side walking around looking like a harlot. Okay. You, okay, don't want me to you, you can't be on the Lord's side walking out here looking like Jezebel. You can't be Amen. You can't be on the Lord's side that amen, way. Amen. And you're going to have to make a decision. Don't nobody got to come to you every day and tell you what, what's required and all that. You know. Amen. Just do right, man. Amen. Man, some folks want the world so bad and want the fashion of this world so bad. They willing to give up their walk with God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They willing to give up the blessings of God. The, the, the covering and protection of God. They're willing to give it up. Ready. Just looking for an opportunity. Pastor said one more thing about hoping there's something out to know. Well, you might as well go and walk out. Because you know that's what we preach it. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That, that, that's, that's our standard here. Oh, that, that's, that's, it, it, it got to be a difference. Oh, it got to be. Amen. Right. Women of God. Hear what I'm saying. When you go out in that world, you're a representation more than the men because they can see. Yes. They know whose side you're on. Yes. And they see. And they're like, man, I know a woman can look pretty without makeup. Yeah, they can. That's right. Amen. Yes. You know what you're getting? Okay, I ain't going to go there, boy. I can go to Whose side are you on? Amen. Man, they got, let me get the word comes. <laughs> we are living in a time now where there is no loyalty. Right, 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 right. No loyalty, man. No, no loyalty to the whole church. That's right. No, no loyalty to the pastor. No loyalty to the sisters, sister of God. No loyalty to the crime. No loyalty. No, no commitment, man. Right, just right. just do whatever, don't, don't worry about how it's going to affect man. No loyalty to the commands of God, no man, just that's the hour we live in. Would you agree? Amen. Amen. No loyalty, Amen. man. Just lead the things to God. Quit. The covenant that God made. See, when you went down in this water, when, when, when you went down, not, not me, not when you went down. You telling the Lord, yes. Yes, amen. I'm gonna live for you. Amen, amen, amen. You telling the Lord, yes. Amen, amen. I'm gonna serve you. You telling the Lord, yes, I'm gonna be dedicated to you. You 
telling the Lord, yes, I'm going to be loyal to you. You telling the Lord that. Amen. How many baby dedications we didn't have? Right. Bring the kids up here and pray over them. And we going to dedicate so and so and pray over the parents and they go. Not thinking about covenants and loyalty, man. Covenants, man. That's it. Covenants. Ain't nobody loyal no more. Right. Ain't nobody committed no more. Nope. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Preach it, brother. Amen. Amen. 22, Hallelujah. 22, 23 years old, been married three times. Wow. <laughs> All right. Truth. Truth. 22, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. 22, 20, been married three times. And working on number four. I'm like, man, boy, you get dirty, boy. You... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Right. Right. Yeah. See, that, that's. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm committed. Amen. I'm committed. It's the Amen. Truth. Not as committed as I should be, but. Uh, Come on, preach it. Amen. Lord, man, I believe in Lord. You see, and that's why it upsets me because. I believe in being loyal, okay? I, I, believe, I believe in being committed. I believe in that when I see people, they don't operate that way, it kind of, it rubs me the wrong way because I don't understand that. Right. Say, man, you said you're going to do something, just do it. Yeah. And, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, amen. And, you know, that just, I don't, I don't get that. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, Lord, that's how, you know, that's how we operate. Right. Loyalty, right. man. Right. Somebody, you right. like, right. if you ain't going to do it, don't tell me you're going to do it. Right. right. You say you're going to be in the church, be in the church. It ain't for me, it's for you. I don't, you know. I'm going to miss you, but I mean, you you the one breaking that covenant. That's right. You the one breaking that covenant. That's right. And oh, no, just throw it away. Just just throw it away. Whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? Are you with me or are you against me? Think about it. We still fighting? Are we still fighting in our home life? We still fighting for our children? Are we just kind of put them in the back room and just let them do what they want to do? Okay, I'm, I'm getting to it. Jesus, okay. Jesus, Jesus. What you doing there, Johnny? What you, what you, what you watching, boy? Oh, Dad, it's just, okay, I'm just saying, I'm checking on I don't care you get mad at I ass. I pay the bills, sir. Yeah. That's right. That's I don't really right. know what God does. But, you know. Amen. I was, I was talking to Whose side are you on? I got to know my kids with me. Don't you know that cause grief? Yes. Yes. When you got to fight against your kids, yes. man, that's a hard thing. Yes. Right. That, that, that draw, boy, that makes you tired. Now, you talking about sleepless nights? Man, that'll cause some sleepless nights when, you know, that Johnny ain't acting right or, you know what I'm saying? He just, oh, I'm just talking to Thank you, Whose side are you on? Amen, amen, amen. And, you know, I, I, I tell my kids, I say, you, you know where I'm at with this. You, you know what me and mama going to do. We're going we gonna to live for the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord. I'm with the man of God. I'm with Sister Christina. You ain't got to worry about me when we sit at our dinner table. We ain't going to have pastor for breakfast. All right. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Right. We ain't finna have barbecue pastor tonight. We, <laughs> right. we, we right. just don't. Okay. We, we don't. Okay. I'm being transparent with you tonight, okay? We don't, we don't, we don't function that way. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm with the man. If you don't, I'm with him. I'm with me, CF. I ain't going no more. And I give God the glory. I love you, church. I love my brothers and sisters. I love you. I do. I, I really do. I like you. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm with you. I love you. You know, if I like you, I like you. I'm just, I don't know. I ain't no likable person, but I'm just saying. I, I ain't got time for all that. Right. Getting in trouble and cause I oh man I'm, I'm too old for all that man I ain't, I'm just stay over here yeah, do what I'm supposed to do I don't need to be getting called in the office uh, hey man. why you I'm too old for all that man I ain't got okay you know better 
Hey, the stove hot, don't touch it. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. Don't go wrong. But you know, you like a little kid and you fold it 344. I'm just gonna see if it's still hot. It should burn. Then you in the office because you're doing something. Somebody get the Lord a hand clap of praise. You hear what I'm telling you though? I'm not the pastor. I got six months to mind my business and I got six months to leave yours alone. Amen. So that give me a whole year. <laughs> do what you do. Somebody get a Lord. That keep you out of trouble, man. Woo! I'm going to be in serious. Whose side are you on? But we got to You've been coming up in here and giving mixed signals. Hey, we got to change all that. Amen. Are you my brother or are you my enemy? Amen. Do you want to be here? Amen. Yeah, I want to be here, but it don't seem, I mean, just the action, okay. Okay. Whose side are you on? If you have lost your first love, and there is no repentance to recover it. You're not on the Lord's side. Revelation 2 verses 4 through 5. You don't got to turn there. But it was talking about how they lost their first love. One thing I got against you. You lost your first love. And, and you know repentance is available. But you don't even want to repent. To get to the restored relationship. Right. You don't even want to repent to get the love back. You don't even want to repent to get your first love back. Just You just, okay, I'm just going to do what I do. I don't need to. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I still love tonight. I, I still love. I still love. We've been in this thing a little while. 19 years. Not real long. But we done seen some stuff. We done been through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I thank God to still come to the house of God. I can still feel the presence of God. I, I can still feel a breaking. I, I can still feel a breaking on the inside. When, when the word of God goes forward, I, I can still cry, shed a tear. When God moving, I, I, I mean, I'm yes, thankful. Yes. I'm thankful. Conversation's been a lot different. I'm getting older, man. I'm, I'm like, man, I'm... I'm like, man, I, man, I talked to the wife. They was headed to the gym or something. I said, babe, I want to go to heaven. She looked like, I do too. Right. <laughs> I want to, I want to make it, babe. We can't be, we can't be faking the funk. I can't be. Mm -mm. Like, mm -mm. It's, it's too serious. You, you can play the game if you want to. I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to get embarrassed. Okay. Somebody get the Lord a hand clap of praise. Stand to your feet tonight, church. I'm, I'm coming to a close. Got, got one more scripture I need to read to you. Joshua 24:15. Whose side are you on? And I give God the glory, church. Don't you know you got to guard your walk? Don't, don't you know you got to pray over your relationships with each other? You got to pray over that. Say it. Lord. Don't, don't let pride get a hold of me or me thinking I'm somebody in the church or, you know, like I'm big wig. No, nah, man, I'm right there with you. I'm down here. I ain't no elite captain, please. I have time for all that walking around. Can't even say hi to the brothers and sisters in the church because you think you something. You get on with all that. That's right. That's what happened. People get a little, you know what I'm saying, promotion and the things of God, then they untouch them. Can't nobody tell you nothing now. Oh, oh for real? Oh, okay. I forgot who I was in the presence of. I'm sorry. I'm a, oh, yeah, they don't. Okay, I'm about to get stoned. Let me go over here. Joshua 24, 24, verse 15. Well-known scripture. I had a good time tonight with your church. I pray the word of God. But I'm telling you, God told me to preach this one. Whose side are you on? Hey, when you leave this house tonight, ain't no guesswork. It, 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 ain't no guesswork. When, when you leave here tonight, ain't no wondering if, you know, if I'm in the church or if I still want to live this thing. And ain't no guesswork. You got to know now. Say it. Hallelujah. You got to know who you with. I got to know you with me. 
Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Yes, and it says, Joshua 24, 15, it says, And if it seem, if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you got to make your own day. As for me and my house, yeah. we're going to serve the Lord. Whose side are y'all? Give the Lord a hand. Come and pray. Yeah. You got to know, man. You got to know. And, and I just want to encourage, you know, the young kids, you know, the young, the teens tonight. Hey, we, we for. Yes. Yes, All right. right. We, we, we for you, youngsters. Right. We, we for you. You got to know that. We for you. Yes. All right. We for you, man. We, we, we want you to be successful yes. in the yes. things of God. We, yes. we, we, we want you to make it in the kingdom of God. And I know yes. these days, that they're tough days, and you got so much pulling on you, and you, you know all that, but I, I just want to encourage you tonight. We for you. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you know that? We, we love you, young boy. Shout out to you. Hallelujah. So I know sometimes we come hard and we ain't trying to, you know, whoop you or nothing or, uh, uh, you know, all that. But hallelujah, we, we, we need you now. Y'all younger yes. than us. I, okay. Jesus, hallelujah. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And I just got to, you know, give God a, a, a public uh, testimony. God has just been so good, you know. Amen. And, you know, like I said, I was just... I was just sitting back here Wednesday night and Pastor was preaching on that and God gave me this word and I mean hand in glove. Amen. Say, like, how in the world this man gonna be preaching? I'm still on it, yeah. And I'm just like, man, I'm just in so in love and in awe Thank of you, him. Jesus. And I said, I told my wife, I said, man, as long as I can continue to feel God, like I feel God, I'm I'm good. Amen. It is well. With my soul. I can look out on the, the physical things and everything might not be, you know what I'm saying, rosy or whatever, but it is well with my soul. Amen. Ain't no hidden agendas, ain't no arterial motives, I ain't and I ain't I ain't running that way, church. I'm I'm for you, I'm for the things of God, and I just thank God for the grace of God. I mean, don't you know I don't deserve to be up here? Woo! <laughs> Pastors, they don't deserve to be. I know that. I, I know. I know that. I reverence that. Amen. Uh, that's why, you know, when I feel God, ooh, I'm like, yeah, he's still. <laughs> he's still. Oh, man, it just, oh, man, I just got to feel myself. You know, I, I, I just got to get up to it. I got to, ooh. I, I just, I just, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, yeah, you're just looking at me. I know. I just got it. It's real to me. You ain't got to wonder who side I'm with. Come on. That's, that's one thing. You, you ain't going to wonder who, who I'm with or not. You, you don't know I'm for you. I'm for the things of God. You don't know that. Yeah. We, we ain't going to play patty cake with it. And all that. But I was having a conversation with my son, you know. You know, he getting older, man. Oh, man, you know, he getting older. And I'm just like, man, I know. You know, just trying to talk to him and, you know, just trying to lead him and guide him. And we was having a conversation in his room last night and just talking about some things. And, you know, it was it was cool because he ain't a baby no more. And, you know, we was kind of getting deep and heavy and some stuff. I'm like, man, you know, I say, man, you know, kind of get heated and stuff. But, but, you know, he went and, he, you know, he, you know, took a little shower. And, and God reminded me I was in the kitchen. And I say, and God was talking to me, saying, that's a blessing. Very much. That, that, that's a blessing. And I'm sitting in his room, and I'm studying, and I'm preparing for the word of God. And he came out, and he sat on his bed, Pastor. And I was, I say, say, man, I just want to let you know, these little conversations and these talks we have, I cherish that. Yes, man. I appreciate that. Why? Because I'd rather be sitting here having a conversation with you about the things of God than you talking to me about you being addicted to some drugs. You got some little old girl pregnant or something like that. Hey, what? I want to let you know, God is for you. Amen. Hey, I'm for you, boy. 
and these kids, they just got to know you for them, you know. Amen. You ain't got to say much, but I I'm telling you, man, I'm, I don't know. God been changing and shifting me on some stuff, man. And I'm just trying to, you know, I just want to be a good husband. I want to be a good father. I want to be a, a man of God, man. It just, I don't know. Some stuff been shifting in me, man. I'm, I'm feeling God. Amen. And I'm, I'm hearing God. Amen. You know, just, man, it's just, it's just love me. Right. It's important. But I told him, man, this little old face just lit up. He's like, thank you, Daddy. He gave me a big old hug. You know, and that means something. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm telling you, but I'm, I'm just kind of feeling impersonal with you. Amen. But, you know. But we, we had that little talk, and it was just, just, it was just, it was wonderful. Yeah, and I just let them know, hey man, if you got questions, come talk to me. Yeah. You know, don't get all crazy on me now. Yeah. You know, but just come talk to me. And if I tell you, if I know, I know. If I don't, hey, I don't know. I don't, like I tell them, I don't know when it, all, everything. Yeah. No, but we had that conversation, and your kids need to know who's side you. Yeah. Yeah. This can't be no this splitting. You know what I'm saying? You come to church and, you know, then when you go home, and I don't believe what Pastor said. It, it can't be none of that, man. Right. Who you with? Amen. Who you with? Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. I pray the word of God is going to listen to you. It's just talking to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, mighty God, we thank you for your word, my Lord Jesus. We thank you for your word, mighty God, Lord Jesus, my God and my King. Lord God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, mighty God, take this word, mighty God. Hallelujah, we take this word, Lord God. Mighty God, we place it in our hearts right now by prayer, Father. Lord Jesus, mighty God, let this word, mighty God, echo in our hearts. Hallelujah, mighty God, let's put it in that good soil, Father. Lord Jesus, mighty God, let's not forget your word, Lord Jesus, mighty God. Let's not forget what we heard tonight. Let's not forget what we heard this morning. Lord Jesus, mighty God, let us feed on that word. Let us walk out that word, Lord Jesus, my God. Hallelujah, we thank you for your word. Your word is true, my God. Hallelujah, we thank you for it, mighty God. Your word is holy. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you for the man of God. Jesus. We thank you for this church. Yes, God. We thank you, mighty God, hallelujah, that we got a place, hallelujah, to come and listen to your word. Your word says, mighty God, forsake not the assembly of yourselves. Hallelujah, mighty God. In a manner, hallelujah, such is, especially in these last days, oh Lord. Mighty God, let's not forsake the assembly of ourselves. Hallelujah, mighty God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your teachings. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah for your spirit. Thank you for your truth, O oh Lord. Mighty God, as we go forth, mighty God, in this week. Hallelujah. Let's be in relationship with you. Enable us, mighty God, to be, hallelujah, in fellowship with you. So we can walk in that armor, mighty God, throughout the week, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, mighty God, your word is true. This is important and this is serious, O oh Lord. My God, hallelujah, your word continually saves us. Hallelujah, continually sanctifies us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, as we prepare ready for you, my God. Hallelujah, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the man of God. We thank you for our pastor, Sister Christina. We thank you for each other. We thank you, mighty God, for holiness. And we thank you, mighty God, hallelujah, for who you are. Mighty God, for you are good. And your mercy endureth forever, my Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let's praise the Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Lead our kings. Lord, the Lord, we just praise you right now for this word that you have given to us, God, tonight. We love you, we praise you, we glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's just thank God for the deliverance tonight, for the word of God tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We receive it, Lord. We receive it. Walk in it. Thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.